Hello, hello everyone. You are warmly welcome back to this edition of our Positive Word. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for joining me. Addicted to attention. That's the focus for this session today. When we look around, we see a lot of people who are inclined towards wanting to be celebrated to be identified, to be noticed. People are hooked, addicted to all sorts of things. There are substances, alcohol, cigarette, weed, food, sex, attention, all kinds of addiction today in the world. I'm focusing on the addiction for recognition. That craving dependence on being popular becoming famous the one that is the center of attention that is the focus you want to be seen noticed by everyone it just seems like that's the common thing thing today and we see people diving into all sorts of activities characters they do so many things and it just doesn't feel right. We see people who are ready to associate with all kinds of things. They're willing to sell their souls for prosperity, for fame, for flashy cars, mm. um, palatial mansions, trips around the world. These things are not bad in themselves. If you have gone through the process you have lived you have paid your dues you work hard you earn the, that lifestyle that's fine but very often that's not the case we see young people today who haven't done anything absolutely nothing everybody wants to wear designers even those designers who design those designers do not use them people want to just be seen, arrive at the top. They are willing to give anything, even what they do not have, to get this lifestyle. And of course, to go live on social media because they have seen someone up there. For goodness sake, those who are addicted to attention are hurting the world. We see them become in all shapes, in all shades. Today we've got people who are referred to as celebrities. They are famous for being famous, for being nothing. They've done absolutely nothing that is beneficial to themselves or the world. They are known, yes, but what are they known for? What is that thing that they've done that is positive, that is of value, that is making a good impact on the world? nothing people are craving attention so much addicted to this attention for my name to be everywhere on tv on social media we see fake religious leaders who are dealers today they come with titles pastors apostles prophets prophetess bishop and all all the other nonsensical titles that are empty, worthless, godless, just because of attention. We see young people in certain parts of the world who are willing to commit evil atrocities to make money, to get famous. Young people who would give their lives they engage in degrading, vile acts. These things, they will not be brave enough to tell their families that that's what they've, been, they've, they've done, they've gotten involved in. All because people are addicted to attention. People are craving. Where did this come from? People have forgotten the value of essence, the essence of character virtue, everything of good report thrown away. Want to be noticed 
I want to be known. <clears throat> it's scary. I do not know where this is going. But I just wanted to remind us, as we're told in Mark, chapter 8, verse 36 and 20, 37. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? 37 says, Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? My friend, you who is listening to me, what will you give in exchange for your soul? The easy to read translation says, A person may get everything in the whole world for himself, but if he loses his life, it will not be good for him. There is nothing that a person can give to get back his life once it's lost. Dearly beloved, what will you give in exchange for your soul? That thing your soul pushed, you're driving, doing everything, investing all you have to acquire, to get attention. Where does it end? What is the value? What are you engaged in? Who do you know that's engaging in all these negative acts, things? Just because they want to be famous, they want attention. It's not bad. But if you're doing it at the expense of everything else, that you, that there's nothing you will stop at to get this attention, then something is wrong. I pray that God will help. Help us to not lose our souls in the bead as we seek attention. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. God bless you.